All right, welcome back to TMZ Live. Uh, Congress got really interesting, which doesn't happen often. But and we're going to play <laughs> that game. game. They did a little game. Uh, Congressman uh, uh, Gutierrez from Illinois decided he was going to play a game called uh, Who's, Who's the, the Immigrant? immigrant? And uh, Congressman Luis uh, Gutierrez was pretty awesome, I got to say, because he had props, he had the whole works. And he was making a point, you know, the U.S. Supreme Court has upheld a portion of the uh, Arizona law that allows uh, law enforcement to detain and demand uh, papers from people who look like illegal immigrants. So here's what uh, the congressman did on the floor of the House of Representatives. Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez. I'm sure Justin helped Gomez learn all about American customs and feel more at home in her adopted country. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry because I'm not a trained Arizona official. I somehow got that backwards. Actually, Ms. Gomez of Texas has helped Mr. Bieber of Canada learn about his adopted country. Justin, when you perform in Phoenix, remember to bring your papers. So, so uh, <laughs> yeah, so and, he, and uh, Congressman Gutierrez went on to play the game with a few other people. Uh, Geraldo, Geraldo Rivera, Rivera and Ted, Ted Koppel. Koppel. I'm sure you can guess that it was Ted Koppel who is the uh, immigrant, I believe, from England. From England, from yes. England, and also uh, Geraldo Rivera from the United States of America. Jeremy Lin and also uh, Tony Parker. Tony Parker being from uh, Belgium, Belgium, and Jeremy Lin is from right here in L.A. So, so it, was a, it was a point that really resonated um, in a big way, and Congressman Gutierrez uh, is on the phone now uh, from Washington, D.C. Congressman, welcome to TMZ Live. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be with you. So uh, what was the reaction on the floor when you played your game today? Well, the, the reaction was very, very positive because everybody feels that in using these two young, iconic pop stars, it made the point and that it was kind of not rebuttable, right? It's pretty clear. Uh, because I, I thought Justin Bieber, I'll tell you so, but he was an American pop star. Um, Selena Gomez could be confused for someone as many, uh, I, I can remember as many other Latino surname uh, pop stars are. The fact is that it's dangerous to play the game, and that's the point. That in America, we shouldn't judge people by the color of their skin, their accent, their last name, or where we might believe uh, they come from. Look, Americans, we come in every color, shape, color, and from every country in the world, and that's the strength. So let's not create suspects where they do, they should not exist. Congressman, um, I don't want to trivialize this, but we are TMZ, so I have to ask. I'm a little surprised how many people on the floor knew who Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez were. You know something? A lot after the speech. <laughs> um, <laughs> a lot. I mean, look, let me share with you. I have a nine-year-old grandson. Uh, he knows who Justin Bieber is. Uh, he's got his music. He has his collection. Uh, he knows who Selena Gomez is. You know what? In an age of uh, where pop culture is so dominant, uh, we were able to take a very important substantive issue and say, hey, uh, you know something? Selena Gomez, Justin Bieber, good luck. We hope the best for you, and we embrace you both. I love the fact, though, that you snuck in a sports star in the middle of this. You're a good producer, Congressman, i got to say. Yeah, I want to know who wrote, nice the who wrote, the, uh, who wrote your, your script for you. It was a great game. Well, I have to give credit to a wonderful team to use humor for such a serious issue, and in the end, people understand it. It's wrong to believe that anyone can sell whether you're an American or not on the basis of of, of simply your name or what you look like, and we shouldn't judge people like that. Congressman, it's, not, it's not American. Congressman, we're only about 30 seconds left. Just real quickly, my understanding is uh, you just walked off the floor in protest because uh, the House found uh, Eric Holder, the Attorney General, in contempt? Yes. We walked off together. I think every one of my Democratic colleagues believe that they are trivializing and, uh, and, and politicizing what is a very sacred trust that the American people, people want to be put back to work. People want to make sure they can stay in their home. People don't want us to politicize issues months before the election. They want us to work on jobs, jobs, jobs. And I think that this is a black mark on the Congress of the United States. Okay, Congressman, listen, um, you know, down the road, uh, I got to say, if you are thinking ever of hosting a game show, give me a call. I will. Thank Thank you, so you, you, were, you were really good there. I'm telling you, you, you sold it, Congressman. Thanks. I, you know what? Got a great team, and I have a great love for this nation. And I'm going to tell you something. 
We're all American. We all come in different colors, different shapes, with different last names. But in the end, isn't that the greatness of our nation? That's all I wanted to say in that speech. Don't judge people because you never know who the real American is because the real American is all of us. Okay, Congressman, thank you so much for the time. Thank you. We'll see you. We'll put a poll up, by the way, whether this was a good idea for him to do or whether it was kind of stupid. Uh, the results, I haven't seen this one, and 69% point well taken. Well taken. Uh, the Congressman scores some points. Found a way to really communicate with people, to, get the, to get the point across. It, and we would never have done this had he not done the game. Yep. We would have never done this. He's a smart guy. Okay, we're going to take a break. Uh, when we come back, what do you want to do? Uh, when we come back, Jack Black. We're going to do uh, Jack Black this getting on stage awesome. for a, uh, a queen with a queen tribute band and really got a little too carried away at one point uh, with the microphone. We'll, we'll show you this video. It's hysterical. Awesome video. We're coming back.